are strange. <laughs> Hello beautiful people, Elijah Rex here. I just saw that Amazon dropped a new trailer and so we're going to check it out and uh, see how cringy it is or uh, see if there's any new type of content coming with it. Uh, but you know, either way it's exciting. Let's check it out. Prime Video. Beautiful New Zealand. Uh, pastures. Well, well, the skies are strange. <laughs> Beard is so cringy. Okay. Gil Gallad, I'm guessing. The Jillian birds flying away from meteor. A meteor. Like. Is this what the entire trailer is? What is that? What is that? It's a dude or something, right? Gosh, and this isn't even the whole trailer. This is like a teaser trailer for the trailer. Like, like what is going on? Okay, let's analyze this baby a little bit. I have to say, I have a very big problem with this guy's costume. What is going on? What are those? Can somebody tell me why does he have a fetch in like upside down, like? sideburns okay the end right here like can you just give him a normal haircut you know like maybe they're trying to make him seem more primitive than other hobbits because they're the harfoots you know harfoots being a real thing in tolkienism but you know not appearing for thousands of years whatever harfoots they look cringy that's all i'm gonna say please are strange the guys are strange yeah they're like Check it out. What the freak is that? Gil Gallad. Okay. Guess what? He's like the only elf that looks like an elf besides like Galadriel. Have you seen the new pictures of Celeborn and of Elrond? They don't even look like elves. Okay. Gil Gallad, if that's who this is, which I think they've confirmed it is. He actually looks like an elf. Okay. Ears, of course. And then the long flowing hair. And uh, looks like he's, I don't know, in a pond full of gold somewhere. Oh, those are leaves. Those are those are leaves, aren't they? But anyway, he's the only one that actually looks like an elf, and that's not a good thing when most of the people that are going to be in your show are going to be elves. Okay, he's the only one that actually looks like an elf. Okay, that's kind of sad. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, let's skip forward a little bit here. Oh, okay. So we see the ships. Gladriel's on her ship. I don't know where. She's coming from because Galadriel left for, for Middle Earth like thousands of years before Sauron even forged the rings. So if this is like, I know that they have to condense everything, but I don't know. Are they, are they leaving Numenor maybe? Are they going to Numenor? No, it, it looks like the meteor is about to hit Middle Earth and it looks like they're traveling to Middle Earth, but. I really, I really have no clue what they're going to do with all of this. I'll get to my thoughts in, on it in a second. Okay, meteor falling, of course. You're in Elrond. See, Elrond and Celebrimbor don't even look like elves. At all. Like at all. Okay, this is Elrond, this is Celebrimbor. Celebrimbor played a huge part in the Second Age, okay? Probably one of the most important elves there is. Elrond was also super important, but look. Look, look, they, they don't even look like elves. Their hair's all short and stuff. Like, what's the deal? Come on, fix your wardrobe, guys. I got the Romeo and Juliet type deal. I don't know. They're gonna try to force some sort of political thing into it, I'm guessing. Ents, maybe? Looks like there's a couple Ents, so that might be cool. Big explosion, rings of power, blicker, blicker, blicker. Okay, so funny thing is, uh, guess what? 
<laughs> this already has 8.3 dislikes. That is insane. This trailer just dropped a few days ago and it only has 568 likes. My thoughts. Um, who the hell is the meteor guy? Who is it? Seriously. Like, that's what's so frustrating about this. Obviously, yeah, I just need to wait until the thingamajig drops, the whole show and all of that. But who the freak are they? What are they doing with this meteor man? Okay. I'm a huge Tolkien enthusiast. You could probably tell. <laughs> I, I love this stuff. So I research, I read it quite often. I was just reading the children of horror and maybe an hour ago. And there are no mentions of anything like that is a meteor, an asteroid, whatever, throughout any of it, except for when they reference weapons that they're making, okay? They'll make weapons out of the meteorite that falls because, you know, I mean, that's something that was in uh, Norse legend and that's something that Tolkien brought over to his own cult, into his own creation, and it's really cool. But there's no people falling, and if it's, okay, if it's a Valar, one of the gods of Middle Earth, that just opens up a whole can of worms. Okay, if it's a if it's a Valar falling from I don't know, falling from the Undying Lands, falling from uh like the <laughs> Valinor. Gosh, I forgot I forgot the name for a second. Falling from Valinor, then that creates so many problems because this is the Second Age, and the Valar have sworn going off to Middle Earth, and they all live in Valinor now. Okay, they have. They got the big bad Morgoth. He's in he's in uh, Valinor now. The big bad in the second in the second age is Sauron. Okay, and the Numenorians themselves. They're they have a whole slew of problems. But that's just like that's what I don't get. It's like who is this meteor guy, and what's his what's his significance gonna be? And it's just can you focus on Sauron and the rings? Can you focus on the ruling of Linden from by Gil Galad? Can you focus on Celebrimbor helping the, the uh, cr helping forge the rings and giving them to the different people? Like I just I don't know. What are they going to do with this meteor guy? And I was checking out one of these other okay, Lord of the Rings. Amazon is still keeping a tight lid on the mysterious new Lord of the Rings series for Prime Video. The streaming service released the new trailer for the Lord of the Rings on Wednesday, but it still doesn't reveal much about the series and only gives brief glimpses around middle earth basically this just goes over how you know it was really mysterious and it's like yeah they are keeping it that way amazon's keeping it that way because they know they've seen the backlash from the fans they've seen how how nervous fans are about this about this new show and how 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 many people are straight up like wanting to boycott it <laughs> to be for lack of a better term and they know that they've got a steaming pile of crap for a show okay that probably doesn't even resemble tolkien's work at all except for the characters in it okay and that's why they're keeping a tight lid that's why they're not showing very much of their own stuff in their own trailer is because they know that any give they show is gonna piss off fans even more okay and then looper released it as well it's been in the works since 2017 and has already made it the most expensive TV series in history with a first season budget of $465 million. $465 million. That's a TV show. And holy crap, it has the budget of a massive major film. Okay, they've put so much money into this. So much money. It's, it's going to crash. It's going to crash and burn. It, it's gonna suck none of the none of the fans want it man since the lord of the rings rings of power is set 2000 years before the events of the lord of the rings that means few characters from tolkien's book trilogy will make an appearance in the upcoming series barring those with ultra long lifespans like the elves morfid clark appears here as a galadriel lady of lothlorien robert arama Ar arameo will portray elrond lord of rivendell so yeah, like, the rest of the main cast includes Charles Edwards as Cal Brimbor, Benjamin Walker as High King Galad. Those are the only other two names that we know of people that have, they've created. Even though, you know, Tolkien made an entire pantheon of characters, like, literally thousands of characters with their own lineages. But we had to go and make some new ones. Uh, Max and Brady is a sealed door. And, and see, that's the other thing. If a sealed door is going to be in it, then that means it's going to be close to the end of the Second Age. Close to the end of it. If Isildur is in this, then it's close to the end of the Second Age. And Sauron created the Rings of Power 
like in the middle of the second age, like thousands of years, okay? Thousands of years before a sealed door. So it's like, what are you guys doing? What are you guys doing? We'll see how it goes. I'm not very, I'm not very excited, but I'll be watching the trailer on July 14th if you guys want to check that out. But just let me know what your guys' thoughts on it. Are you, does this trailer give you any more confidence? Does it just seem like they're really reaching? Does it seem like they even care about what any of the Tolkien... It, who's the meteor guy? That's my biggest question. Who the freak is the meteor guy? Tell me! Like, if he's from Valinor, that makes no sense. If he's from space, that also makes no sense. Okay? None of it makes any sense. That's why they're keeping a tight lid on it, because they know they've got a steaming pile of crap. I've said that already, and I'm going to say it again. They know that what they're making is hot garbage okay let me know your thoughts and please come check this out or check out my uh, channel when i uh watch the uh the original the new trailer the new teaser trailer that's coming out anyway peace out dogs